Okay, one more related rate problem. You have a 13-foot ladder is leaning against a wall, but it's sliding. The 13-foot the 13 ladder is slipping towards the floor. The top of the ladder is sliding down. So it's sliding down at a rate of 2 over y feet per second, where y is the distance from the top of the ladder to the floor. How fast is the base? So let's do, let's show you the diagram of what we're talking about. So here you have the ladder, right? And it's slipping. Well, as it's slipping down, the base of the ladder will be slipping away farther from that wall, right? Um, how fast is the base of the ladder sliding away from the wall when the, when the base of the ladder is 12 feet from the wall? All right, so our no and our diagram are kind of put there together. We, they give us this rate right here. And because it's going down, right, that distance is shrinking. That's a negative rate. So negative 2 over y feet per second, right? This distance is x. The height is y. Well, what do we know about right triangles, right? x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared or diagonal squared. Okay, so that's the formula that we'll be working with. And it also looks like the formula for a circle. It's not, but it looks like the formula for a circle. So this is implicit differ differentiation. And what we're trying to find is this dx dt. So we're going to try to find dx dt at the exact moment when you're 12 feet away from the wall and at a height of five feet. And how you know that right there, if this if this is 12 feet, we'll, we'll remember Pythagorean theorem, 13 squared, which is 169, is equal to 12 foot squared plus y squared. Well, 12 squared is 144. When you subtract 144 in both sides, you get 25 is equal to y squared. You take the square root, y is equal to 5. On most quadratics, you get the positive and negative, but because we're talking about a length, it's just positive 5. So we're going to find dx dt when we know at the exact moment when x is 12 feet, the y will be 5 feet. So using implicit differentiation, there is our non-function. So when you take the derivative, um, 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt is equal to the derivative of 13 is 0. Um, we want to get the dx dt by itself. So we'll subtract the 2y dt, um, and then we'll divide both sides by 2x. So, oops, we... So we subtracted the 2y dy dt. Now we're going to divide both sides by 2x. And then the 2s will cancel. Log on. I'm having problems with the technology. And so now we have dy, dx dt, excuse me, is equal to, when those 2s cancel, negative y over x uh, dy dt. Well, we know dy dt. We were given that. Well, look at what happens. The y's cancel, and now we have negative times negative is positive. So dx dt is equal to positive 2 over x, and what do we have? Feet per second? And look at what we have. It's at that exact moment when x is equal to 12. Well, 2 twelfths simplifies to 1 sixth, and that's feet per second.
just like that. 